Your heart needs to be strong to keep up. Flora, for a strong heart today. From the moment our hearts start beating in the womb, we become accustomed to a regular, steady heart rhythm. When this heartbeat becomes irregular, or what we call an arrhythmia, it can become potentially life-threatening, as Delene Domasa discovered. My problem started about 10 years ago. I was pushing my granddaughter in the pram, and all of a sudden I felt this very strange feeling as if I was being throttled and we thought it was just the once off. But then six months later, the same thing occurred again. And since then, I've had the fibrillation. You're always in a state of anxiety that something might happen at the wrong time. And if it doesn't stop before 24 hours, you've got to go to hospital and be shocked into regularity. I think the fact that there is something to be done is wonderful. And the way modern science has now excelled and we see all these wonderful things happening nowadays, there's hope for so many people and especially for the families and the anxiety that they go through. It must be really be very reassuring. After years of treatment, Aline's cardiologist put her in touch with renowned cardiac surgeon Faisal Logat, a world leader in treating arrhythmias using a revolutionary robotic system. Arrhythmia means heart rhythm disturbance, usually in a negative sense. And it usually implies that the heart's either going too fast or too slow. When the heart goes too fast, this can cause dizziness, lightheadedness. And in extreme situations when the heart's going really fast, it can cause a blackout or even death. The treatment of heart rhythm disturbances has really evolved. In years gone by, we either did nothing or we used drugs. But in broad general terms, drugs have only probably had on average about a 50% success rate in treating heart rhythm disturbances. We now have the technology whereby in one procedure, maybe lasting about two to three hours using a minimally invasive approach where we're able to provide maybe an 85 percent cure for this problem using a 13 million rand state-of-the-art system dr logad can perform corrective procedures without the usual risk of open heart surgery we're going to generate a 3d virtual map of the left upper chamber and then i will work from the robotic station within the virtual heart then we don't need x-rays anymore because x-ray is a form of ionizing radiation and increases everybody's chances of getting cancer. Doctors insert a catheter into the groin and thread it through to the heart where it communicates with the system. The catheter effectively acts as the surgeon's hands and eyes. We are cauterizing the surface of the inside lining of the heart at the junction between the pulmonary vein and the body of the left atrium and we're just watching these signals very carefully. We know we're done when those signals are eliminated. The potential is there that I could do a procedure of this nature on somebody somewhere in Central Africa. We would need somebody with just a, a modicum of expertise to do the initial setup. And then we could do the rest from here on the internet. This breakthrough in medical technology is opening doors and creating new opportunities to tackle corrective procedures in other parts of the body as well. The procedure went flawlessly. You know, we really had absolutely no technical issues, no complications at all. And this is pretty much our experience now with this modern robotic system. Though technology offers new hope for sufferers, prevention is always better than cure. Taking steps to reduce your risk factors for heart disease may reduce your risk of developing arrhythmias too. Your heart needs to be strong to keep up. Flora, for a strong heart today.